With the recent release of the latest iterations of both DxO Pure Raw 5 and Topaz Labs 4, I thought it would be a good time to update last year's raw image denoiser comparison with an updated set of competitors to find out which is the best raw image denoiser for 2025. Before viewing the slideshow comparison, let's run through a quick overview of each denoiser, starting with the reigning champion, DxO Pure Raw. The latest version of Pure Raw, which is version 5, was released this past April 2025 and costs 125 US dollars with a 79 US dollar upgrade price. The latest technology, D Prime 3, was introduced in Pure Raw 5 and augments last year's D Prime XD2S, which is still supported within Pure Raw. The next denoiser is Topaz Photo AI 4. The latest version of Topaz AI 4 was released this past May 2025, although its denoiser was last updated on October 2024. Photo AI costs $199 US dollars for a perpetual license with a $100 US dollar upgrade price. And that includes a year's worth of upgrades. The third denoiser is new to this list, Adobe Lightroom. Lightroom costs $120 US dollars a year and is subscription only. Its AI-powered denoising was first launched in 2023 and was last updated in October 2024 to support linear DNG and that allowed for denoising of HDR and panorama stitching output, which is a unique capability of Lightroom. The final denoiser is On One No Noise AI 2024. No Noise AI 2024 was released way back in October 2023 and was last updated in April 2024 with the release of No Noise AI 2024.5. The cheapest way to get No Noise AI is via its raw editing app On One Photo Raw 2025, which currently costs 50 US dollars. That tool includes the latest version of No Noise AI technology along with a full-fledged raw editor. So that was a quick overview of all the entries. Next, let's run through the slideshow comparison so you can decide which one was the best. For the fun of it, I will only reveal the denoiser for each image at the end of the slideshow. So I hope you enjoyed the comparison. Which number did you think was the winner? Write it down in the comments. Here are the identities of the denoisers. Before I run through which one's the winner, let's do an analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of each denoiser. Let's start off with On One No Noise AI 2024. With regards to On One, its main strength is its ability to produce clean images with the ability to remove luminance and color noise even in badly underexposed high ISO images, as you can see here. The software is supposed to include an advanced deblurring model that produces sharp images. When it comes to weaknesses, while no noise, noise reduction is generally effective, its main issues is its tendency to produce sharpening artifacts which appear like an artificial texture or spurious lines, as you can see here 
and this occurs even with the sharpening turned off. Better denoisers do not have this issue, as you can see here. Moving on to Topaz Photo AI 4, Topaz's strength is in its detail preservation, particularly over ON1, which has more of a tendency to overly smooth details, as you can see here. It also produces more vivid colors than ON1, which can help make an image pop. In terms of weaknesses, Topaz was the worst performing in terms of removing grain and overall image quality, particularly in more challenging high ISO images with bad underexposure. Surprisingly, despite its strong reputation in technology, it seems that Topaz doesn't know how to take advantage of the extra data in a RAW file to produce a competent denoising result compared to its peers. Moving on to Adobe Lightroom, the main strength of Adobe's AI power denoise is its ability to produce clean, artifact-free images in even the worst light. Compared to ON1, you can see how Lightroom performs its denoising more competently without the unsightly artifacts. Here is another example. I also found Adobe's ability to denoise faces excellent, as in this example, where it was the top performer for this image. Another strength of Lightroom is in its color recovery. Lightroom consistently produces natural-looking color in even extremely bad light, as in this example. Moving on to DxO Pure Raw 5, similar to Lightroom, DxO was able to produce clean, artifact-free images. However, better than Lightroom, DxO was able to produce a less grainy image while preserving practically the same amount of details as in this example. By the way, most of the images were denoised using D-Prime's previous model, XD2S, which produced cleaner results than its latest D-Prime 3 in my tests. Another strength of DxO is in its detail recovery. In this example, you can see how significantly more roof details and texture was preserved by DxO over Lightroom, which was the second best performer. In this next example, you can see how more of the window elements were intelligently recovered by DxO, whether it be over Lightroom or on one. Topaz was the closest in terms of preserving details but its results were far noisier and messier than DxO. So that was the analysis of each of the denoisers. Which one did I think was the winner? Well, the competition was much closer than the last time, and you really have to zoom in close to see the difference. The winner to my eyes is still the same, DxO Pure Raw 5, for its ability to consistently produce the cleanest images while maintaining the most detail. In second place was Adobe Lightroom's AI Power Denoise. As with DxO, its results were excellent across the board, although producing slightly grainier images than DxO. In third place is On1 No Noise, and if you want to save money, On1 No Noise is a good alternative as long as you find its sharpening artifacts acceptable. On the other hand, I would not recommend the last place finisher, Topaz Photo AI 4, for raw image denoising due to the excessive grain and overall messy image quality compared to its peers, although I would still recommend Photo AI for JPEG denoising or for raw images with just medium noise. It seems that despite numerous updates, Topaz still hasn't improved its raw denoising performance since Photo AI 2 and has fallen behind the competition. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which one you thought was the winner. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.